In this class, we will learn the Avdalid of Masech Saita. In this introduction, we'll explain what the word teku means. So the translation, the literal translation of the word teku is let it stand. Now this is often known as being an acronym, a Rosh Tevis, for the words Tishbi, Ataritz, Kushis, Vabayis, that Eliyahu Novi will answer to us questions and inquiries, because Teku follows a question that the Gemara presents, and so the way it's understood is that when Eliyahu Novi comes, he will answer this question for us. However, the simple and basic meaning of Teku is as follows. When the Gemara presents an Ibayaluhu, which basically is an inquiry. They had an inquiry about a case. Typically, this is about a case which has not been discussed directly. So we have the, the case itself that's being discussed, and the Gemara may present the case where it's a little different. What are the, what's the halacha going to be there? Or if a certain detail has not been addressed, so the Gemara will inquire, what is the specifics? Does it have to be this way, or does it have to be another way? So when the Gemara presents an Ibayaluhu, which consists of two possible answers, which in terms of knowing the Lashon Gemara, it's presented with the words Oydilma, so we'll have Ibayaluhu, what do we say here, Mahu? Do we say this, Oydilma, or maybe we say something differently. So Oydilma means, or perhaps. So that'll be the introduction to the second option. So when we, when we have an Ibayaluhu, and both of the answers are perfectly acceptable, that means the Gemara doesn't have any issue with either of them, then the Gemara will conclude, Teku, which means let the inquiry with both possibilities stand. It's simply saying, let it stand. There's nothing to push us and make us determine one way over the other, and therefore they both stand. In terms of Halacha, then there are other other considerations, whether we'll say to go L'Chumra and be strict because the issue at hand is Minatera, or whether we're going to rule to go Lakula to be lenient, because the issue at hand is Midrabanon, or other considerations and factors that will determine the Halacha. But in terms of the Gemara, it's simply saying that let both of the explanations stand, because they're both perfectly acceptable.